welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would do a little bit of style inspiration and a little lookbook for your fall winter that goes both for your third trimester all the way through, you know, that fourth trimester, those extra months when you're first breastfeeding and everything. Um, I was looking for outfits that would transition well into breastfeeding because I'm breastfeeding, not pregnant, but there would also be something you can wear for maternity wear. So I went to, uh, what is it, M motherhood, motherhood maternity. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't forget that. In no way is this sponsored, they didn't give me any free stuff, they didn't pay me. But I just thought, you know, this is a, a store that a lot of people order from, I've never ordered from them. Um, I will try it. So I ordered a bunch of stuff that was both maternity and nursing, kind of check out and see what would work. Um, and some of the pieces, actually, surprisingly, I was like, you know, I'm going to keep these. These are great for nursing because I was kind of hoping I could find a good nursing top, but my expectations were low. And even more surprisingly, some of them were just really poor quality. I was surprised because motherhood maternity is not cheap stuff. It's not, you know, $10 fast fashion. It's going to be $50 to $200 for each piece of clothing. <clears throat> some of the items I got uh, were on sale, but still, you know, it adds up, right? Um, if you're trying to have a wardrobe for your full pregnancy, which is what I think it's so valuable to buy things that will transition from pregnancy to breastfeeding. And, you know, let's be totally honest, it's not even the fourth trimester. It's not those extra three months after your birth. It's the full year after you give birth. You're going to want to be in comfy clothing. And I will say, some nursing maternity wear, I still wear because it's comfy and stretchy. Um, and I really like that about maternity and breastfeeding clothing is that it tends to be a little more comfortable. Um, than a lot of women's clothing that doesn't have a lot of give. Um, sometimes you just want to be able to <sighs> breathe out, relax, have a nice time, right? That can be as simple as what it's about. Um, I actually was not expecting to um, really love this dress as much as I did because it's not a color I buy um, frequently. It's kind of like a, a honey mustard color. Um, and it's not the thickest cotton. You know, I will say from motherhood, nothing I got in impressed me with the quality of the material. It all seemed like kind of cheap material that you could buy at Old Navy for a quarter of the price, except it was cut for maternity or was cut to have a breastfeeding neckline. And so it was four times as much. Uh, but I thought it was perfectly fine quality, just, you know, I didn't think that it was worth a $60 dress in today's fast fashion economy, right? Where 60 bucks is a lot if you go to H&M or if you go to Forever 21 or if you go to Old Navy, right? You know, you want a certain quality. It's kind of like how Gap used to be a little bit better quality and now it's kind of priced the same. Um, but the quality is goddamn. Which is a shame because I love Gap. I used to shop there when I was a little tiny monkey too. Um, but this I really liked because it is very breastfeeding accessible. And when I was doing this order, um, I knew I was going on a cold weather winter trip. And I wanted some more, and I live in a cold climate, let's be totally honest here. It's like six months of winter where I live. And I've, I've really hesitated to buy a lot of breastfeeding clothes. I brought some breastfeeding tanks, tank tops um, a couple years back, and I bought um, postpartum, bought a couple of nursing bras and stuff. But I've really been hesitant to order a lot. And I'm still breastfeeding my son, um, and I really wanted to be able to travel and feel like I looked nice. Um, but that I could still breastfeed. So I wasn't like taking off layers to breastfeed him. I wanted to just be able to do that. So I think this dress is great for that. It does have a little uh, ruching on the side um, that is for maternity wear. So, you know, as your tummy expands and as your hips expand, the dress will expand with you, which is really nice. I like it just because it hugs my curves well, which is something I greatly appreciate about maternity wear is that they expect you to be a little bit curvier and I'm a little bit curvier. So I appreciate that about it. Um, some of the pieces I got just so did not impress me. They um, were cut poorly. They had odd dimensions. And I'm taking into account, having been pregnant myself, knowing kind of how your body changes. And everybody's body changes differently, right? But there's certain things that enlarge and change and fat deposits scoot around a little bit. Um, and some things I just thought, you know, stuff was going to be popping out. Your breasts were going to be popping out weird. Your, something was going to be falling off your shoulders. Some stuff just hit at a weird angle. Um, but overall, I thought it was fun to do, and I wanted to show you to get you inspired to say, hey, I really want that piece. That's going to be something super stylish and fun. So let's go through everything that I ordered. So something that I got on sale, and this was on sale for 18 bucks, which I thought wasn't a bad price 
was a striped um, kind of tank dress. And this is more for summer weather. I have a lot of relatives that live in um, warm, hot climates. So I was kind of thinking that if I visit them this winter, it makes sense um, because it is maternity breastfeeding. So it transitions into that postpartum. And if you're going to breastfeed for multiple years, right, or even a year, however long you breastfeed, you're going to want clothing that you can easily um, access your breasts from without everything flopping out and you still feel pretty in. I liked this. I thought it hugged curves really well, actually. It didn't look too maternity-ish, which is always something, even when I was pregnant, that I wandered away from because I thought that overly maternity stuff. I just didn't like the look. I wanted it to look like a stylish outfit that happened to fit my pregnant body and then now fits my breastfeeding body, right? So I really like this one. I think it will transition well into um, summer and it'll transition well when I travel to hotter climates uh, for work. So a second dress I got was a print wrap maxi dress and I wanted to try and find some long dresses for winter time because I do live somewhere where it's very cold a lot of the year and most of my dresses I would say almost all um, are from before I moved up north when I still lived in Southern California and you know winters are 65 degrees right so you could wear a lot of these dresses and I, I love to wear dresses I'm a dress girl I'm a lady a woman that loves to wear her dresses and I can't wear a lot of mine because there's only so much layering you want to do so I wanted to do a long dress that I could wear in winter time and I really like this. Um, it's great for breastfeeding. That V wraparound is just a wrap dress is a classic way for easy breastfeeding. It's nice and stretchy material. It's cheap material. It is, you know, I would expect to buy this dress off of Amazon for like 20, 25 bucks. Um, I think it was 50 or 60 dollars on sale for 40. Um, it's cheap material but it's very comfy, it's very stretchy. I will say that slit is high. Oh my goodness, hello, hello slit, whoa. So be warned that when you walk, it kind of splits open. It's like, hey lady bits, make sure you got your boy shorts on. Um, so I might pair these with like very opaque tights or with leggings because that split was like, howdy doody. I imagine that in pregnancy, things will joshle around for you. So that might be a very comfortable option to give air to your legs, you know, cause you kind of sweat a lot extra when you're pregnant. Um, but test that out for yourself and see because the split was something that I was like that's almost a deer killer but it's an easy to breastfeed in outfit that's a long dress and that's hard for me to find so I went with it and I like it okay this was this was a total dud boo for me because I was really excited about this it was wintry kind of fair isle look and I wanted a, a long sleeve breastfeeding t-shirt because I don't have a lot of long sleeve breastfeeding t-shirts because most of them suck. They're too short in the wrist or they're a weird angle and they cut you right at the hips for length or, you know, they're actually kind of difficult to breastfeed in even though they're sold as breastfeeding long sleeve shirts. This one has the craziest neckline of anything I've ever seen. It's so low cut. Um, I was amazed and you know, necklines are going to get pulled down a little bit as your tummy gets bigger. It's crazy. Oh, sorry, I ran out of battery. How to recharge, woo-oo. Yes, that is such a deep, deep neckline. Oh my goodness, um, I love the sleeve length. I have long arms, I love sleeves that actually go to my wrist and beyond to my hand. Those are so comfy and great, especially in cold weather, but there's no way that I could wear this around to play dates um, or to the playground. It's just like, the dottas are gonna pop out and I don't even have that big of dottas. So that was another fail. The cable knit um, sweater, I really like the cut of this. Um, it hits at the hips really well. It has a lot of room in it for pregnancy. I would say this was not a third trimester sweater though. I think first and second, by the third, I think this would be uncomfortable. Or you'd have to get it in such a big size that it would be super baggy everywhere else. So I think it's great first and second trimester pregnancy sweater. And then it's a nice breastfeeding sweater. It does have a lower neckline, but I think it would be hard to breastfeed in, really honestly. So that's going back. I'm not, I like it, you know, it's cute, but I didn't think that it was stretchable enough in timeline for your full pregnancy to breastfeeding to warrant it. Cause you know, it's like, I think it was uh, 55 or $60 and it was on sale for about 40. Um, you know, it's a more expensive sweater and I didn't think it transitioned well through all the phases of pregnancy and breastfeeding. Another thing I didn't like about it 
is that it was a really cheap material. Um, you know, if it were maybe half the price, I would think about, oh, okay, that's fair. But I think for a sweater that price, you want it to be softer and thicker, and it was neither of those. Okay, so I tried maternity leggings because I wanted all of you lovely mamas to follow this channel. I know you want to go do some yoga, and honestly, you just want to sit and eat a snack and get your other kids to be quiet while you're pregnant in your maternity leggings, right? These were very comfy, and they've got a really nice, stretchy, big belly band area, which I really like for a maternity pant. These, I would say, order up an extra size above what you think you need to order um, to stretch you all the way through your full pregnancy. They're very comfortable. They are very thin. It's a very thin material, so don't expect anything that's going to keep your legs warm in winter. But, very comfy, cute color, find order. I just wasn't super impressed with the thickness of the fabric. Okay, the star long sleeve shirt. I opened this up and went, ooh la la, you shall be mine. I shall love you and hug you. Because it's long sleeved, it hits lovely at the bottom, right? It's not like hitting your hips at a weird angle or you know, just letting your belly rolls hang out, right? I really like that. I love the print. It's super comfortable and it's stretchy for neckline so you can breastfeed in it. Um, I think that this would absolutely take you through pregnancy and breastfeeding, which I love. I'm happy with that. I really like the shirt. You're going to see some Instagram photos of me in it. You know what? You know I can't resist the star theme. I listen to too much star, uh, star talk. I keep calling it Star Trek, star talk on podcasts and I can't resist. Okay, so they called this a one-shoulder maxi dress, um, and I mean, you could do one shoulder. I think it's, I think it's an off-the-shoulder, but okay, you know what? Motherhood, maternity, go for it. You can name it whatever you want. I just think this is an off-the-shoulder. I, I was really surprised by how much I like this dress. Um, I thought maybe I'll like it, but it's, it's like a stretch for me in color. I really enjoyed it. I think this is going to be a staple in my winter wardrobe because... I can put tights underneath it or thigh-high socks to keep warm, and I can wear a sweater around it if I want. Um, it's nice to have a long dress that also doesn't have long sleeves because then I can just layer, you know? And if I get too hot, because I do run really warm. Um, and in my early days of breastfeeding, I ran really warm. I would get those hot flashes you get when you're breastfeeding. Oh my god, that's crazy. I would turn like bright red and start sweating, and then five minutes later I would be cool again. It was bizarre. It's a normal part of your hormones fluctuating after you give birth, um, so it's nice. I think this would transition well, even in winter time, and you're thinking, oh, I need long, heavy sleeves. Sometimes, if you're gonna give birth in winter and you're gonna go through that postpartum period, you want things that you can take off that aren't too heavy, because believe it or not, you really do just, you start sweating, you have these hormone hot flashes, you know, like menopause almost. It is crazy. So I really like this long dress. I like the way it hugged my curves. Um, I think it would absolutely expand beautifully in the tummy for maternity and I think it'll expand with your hips. That is something to look out for in maternity wear. Um, your hips are going to keep expanding, expanding, expanding more than you think possible and some maternity clothes are more geared to your tummy and less to your hips and if you want to be comfortable in your third trimester you want something that expands with your hips otherwise you're like screw this I'm never wearing pants again. Which is that a bad idea? Maybe it's not let's be honest. It's, that takes us to the end of our maternity and breastfeeding style. We need a theme song, a theme song. That's our theme song. In case you're wondering, you're like, is that a request for a theme song? It could be. I mean, feel free. Send me theme songs. <laughs> I hope that you like these style ones. I kind of thought maybe I'll start adding a few more style ones just because the more I talk to mamas, the more I get a sense of, you know, we're floundering around in pregnancy and in early motherhood, trying to find our footing again as women and as people. And part of that is style. And we can't go back, our bodies can't go back, and our minds and our hearts can't go back to pre-motherhood, pre-pregnancy. So it's really important to have clothing that kind of hugs us and loves us and is soft. and makes it easier for us to be mamas, not harder, but that also makes us feel lovely as women and happy and satisfied as women. And I think that that's really valuable. Um, so I kind of thought, you know what, I'm going to try out these different styles. I'm going to give my tips because I've certainly gone through the refusal to buy new outfits. I'm just going to wear what I used to wear. And i got to say, I do feel a lot better about myself and my body when I buy a new outfit that fits correctly. Because my body is a little different shape than it was, you know, before I became a mother. And also just age, right? The longer you're a mother, 
the older you're getting and your body just changes so it is valuable you don't have to spend a fortune right every month you can spend whatever your little budget is for clothing it can be ten dollars it can be fifty dollars you can buy yourself one little thing you can shop seasonally so you get you know the previous season on sale and then wear it when it comes back around um and that way you just get a few little new things and you aren't buying an entire new wardrobe that just makes you feel good about your body and about being a mama so until next time thank you all so much for subscribing and being part of the wholesome feed with me following along as kind of you know all of these topics that we cover on here with parenting with fatherhood and motherhood i love i love the journey i love talking about it i will see you all around on my instagram oh hey as always check out the links in the description box um, i link to all my romance novels i'm a romance uh, novelist as well as a youtuber on here so i love it when you check out those books and you know maybe pick one up if you'd like a little something to read in your awesome return to your breastfeeding wear see, until next time i'll see you all around and thank you so much oh, hey, don't forget to hit the thumbs up